Hi everyone, in this video we are going to practice investigating hydrogen bonding. But in order to do that, we first need to identify what types of bonds, specifically covalent bonds, can allow for hydrogen bonding between two different types of molecules. Go. All right, did you get an answer? Hopefully you did because this is strictly memorization. There are only three types of covalent bonds that can allow for hydrogen bonding between two different molecules. It is not CH, it is not CO, it is not CO, it is not ON, it is not FF. So the only ones left are an OH, an FH, or an NH. If you have these three or any one of these types of covalent bonds within your molecule, then you could possibly have hydrogen bonding between two different types of molecules. So let's take it a step further. We've identified the bonds, now let's look at an example. Here's our first example. Can this molecule have hydrogen bonding with an, another molecule? Go. All right, did you get an answer? Hopefully you did, but if you didn't, don't get frustrated yet. The first thing that you need to identify is a fluorine hydrogen, oxygen hydrogen, or nitrogen hydrogen bond. If that covalent bond is not there in your molecule, you cannot have hydrogen bonding. So right away I notice that we don't even have fluorine, we don't even have nitrogen. So what I'm looking for is some kind of OH bond. So there's no oxygen here, no oxygen here, this is our only oxygen, and it is literally only bonded to carbon. So can this molecule exhibit hydrogen bonding? Absolutely not. There is no way possible for it to happen. Let's look at another example. How about this one? Can this one hydrogen bond? All right, hopefully this one is a little bit easier now that we went through that previous problem, but basically just like before, what we're looking for is a fluorine hydrogen, nitrogen hydrogen, or oxygen hydrogen bond. So right away what I see is there's none of any of those elements down here at the bottom, but I do immediately see an oxygen right here. And what I actually am drawn to is this OH bond. So right here, it's written in shorthand notation, but if you were to draw it out properly, there definitely is a covalent bond between that oxygen and hydrogen. So, can this molecule exhibit hydrogen bonding? Yes, absolutely it can. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, stop for a quick second, go back and review your notes, because now we're gonna ramp it up a notch. Here are two molecules, draw the hydrogen bond. Okay, it's not drawn here. I want you to write this down and draw in some kind of hydrogen bonding, go. All right, did you get an answer? Hopefully you did. The first thing you had to do was identify of your covalent bond. So we're first, we're only looking at that OH bond, but of this side, which one is more electronegative, which one's more electropositive? And so right away, we know that our oxygen is more electronegative than our hydrogen, so we draw it out like this. Really, that doesn't matter, though. The only thing that actually matters is that you take a negative side and you draw, it to, draw the hydrogen bond to a positive side. And your hydrogen bond is usually written out like this, with these long dashes. So if I were to draw this out, that is exactly how I would do it. I have the hydrogen side being a, uh, forming a hydrogen bond with an oxygen side or a positive side being attracted to a negative side. That's the biggest component. Alternatively, you could have done a crazy version and had this oxygen having some kind of hydrogen bonding with that hydrogen. Now, is that likely to occur? No, not like that at all. But if you drew that, that's not wrong. You're not incorrect, you're just a little bit odd, okay? Which is fine, it's totally fine, it's just not the preferred method, all right? Next one, and this is the last one actually. So I have three different types of bonds here. I have one A labeled, one labeled B, and one is labeled C. I want you to tell me what type of bond is that? Ionic, covalent, hydrogen, data, something else, whatever it is, tell me. All right, did you get an answer? Hopefully you did, but if you didn't, that's okay. But this is one of the most important skills that you can master in this course. You must be able to look at a molecule and tell me what type of bond it is. So the first thing we need to do is determine, is there a bond within a molecule or between molecules? If it's within the molecule, we're looking at either ionic or covalent. And so right away I see that these first two are within, and this bottom one, is between. So right away, hopefully you're able to say, oh my gosh, I'm looking at two different types of bonding situations, like completely different, intra versus inter. So now for A, the first thing that I see is that full positive and full negative. I also can see that I'm looking at a metal and a non-metal. So right away, my brain is going, that has to be an ionic interaction. Full positive, full negative, metal, non-metal, definitely ionic. All right, so now let's move to B. B, what I see is a non-metal and a non metal being bonded together. It looks like it's within the molecule, so my only two choices are ionic or covalent. Nitrogen's not a metal. Hydrogen's not a metal. This is definitely a covalent bond. 
Okay, and we've also been talking about how NH is a very, very good co covalent bond. All right, now let's look at this bottom one. The first thing that I see is we have two different molecules. So we have a molecule A like this, that's ethanol. Okay, that's your Everclear. If you drink that at all, you shouldn't because you're in high school, but if you do, whatever. All right, so that's your ethanol. And then here is your water component. Two distinct molecules. So this is definitely a bond between two molecules. If it's between two molecules, the only bond that we have talked about in this course, there are so many more, so just please know that this isn't the only type, but the only type available for us here in this course has to be a hydrogen bond. And the way you check that is by looking. Is it a hydrogen and an oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen, hydrogen and fluorine? If the answer is yes, then you definitely have a hydrogen bond. All right, that's all I have for you in this hydrogen bond practice video. I hope this makes more sense. I really do. If not, please take a second and stop. Go online, email me, contact your teacher. We are here to help. But otherwise, have a great week. Take care of yourself and drink lots and lots of water.